college writing course number one. The power is in the verb. By Overlook Tutorial Academy. College writing, just like professional writing, is a skill anyone can learn. Good grammar and punctuation are necessary. That goes without saying for any writing except poetry. This series will focus on what you can learn to improve your style and, frankly, sound academic. You need to improve your verbs. We all need to enhance our verbs. Every academic writer must upgrade his verbs. It cannot be said often enough. Expand your verb knowledge. I'll begin with a simple rule. Let the verb be the action in your sentence. That seems simple. Didn't we all learn in elementary school that a verb is an action word? Of course we did. But in the years since spot runs, our writing style has become muddied. Let's take it to a word wash and get back to clear, strong verbs. Put all the action of a sentence into the verb. Don't bury the action in a noun or blur it across the entire sentence, like this. The improvement of the usage of verbs by college students in the USA is now our concern. <sighs> now there is a sentence and a half. The sentence structure is entirely correct. But talk about your muddy! Here is a better version. College students in the USA should write with first-class verbs. Even simpler sentences deserve attention. Of course, it's not always possible, but replace the verb to be with something more descriptive whenever possible. Here are a few examples. It will be different would be better as it will differ. Or is interesting to me would be better as interests me. And this paper is an analysis would be better as this paper analyzes. See the difference? We've taken the action differ, interest, analyzes, and put it straight into the verb. Nominalization Nominalization simply means turning another part of speech, like a verb, into a noun with the suffix ION. They really suck the action out of the verb because they contain actionality without being the verb your writing deserves. I can't say don't use them, but be as sure as you can be that the verb not the nominalization, is the focus of the sentence. Here are a few nominalizations we use every day. Evaluation, execution, collision, decision, solution. Probably the sentences that they are in would be better if you used the verbs evaluate, execute, collide, decide, or solve. That's got some power in it. Verbization. Verbization is more or less the opposite of nominalization. It is using a noun as a verb. True, it is a valid usage in a few instances, but current television slang has made it allowable to use almost any noun that way. If you're writing ad copy, go ahead. However, in academic writing of any kind, you will sound less well-read if you misuse parts of speech. As you progress in your career, you will pick up the acceptable jargon of your profession. But as a student, it is a risk you don't need. In a word, avoid it like the linguistic plague it is. If you are in doubt, check in a dictionary and thesaurus to find a better action verb than one that is a noun. Have a look at these words all too often used as verbs. Office, P 
parent, impact, metal, oh my, liaison. I've heard every one of these used as a noun on TV in the last month or so. Please, oh please, don't you. Use strong, descriptive verbs always. Before your final draft, go once through your whole assignment looking specifically at the verbs. Ask yourself these two questions. Is this actually a verb? And does the verb clearly communicate the action of the sentence? This, all by itself, will make a noticeable improvement in your academic writing style. Watch for future installments, and with any other questions or concerns, feel free to call us. Thanks a lot.